The Japan Meteorological Agency recently posted its global average surface temperature for the month of June 2023, and it's clear from their results that our planet is suffering from a serious fever. They found that June 2023 was by far the warmest June on record in their data set, which began in 1890. The Japan Meteorological Agency pre presents its global average surface temperature results in an easy to understand manner. The vertical scale in the graph shows the deviation of the average global temperature in degrees centigrade for the month of June from a 30 year average of such results obtained between 1991 and 2020. The five warmest June months in their records all have been observed in the past eight years. The June 2023 anomaly was slightly more than half a degree centigrade above the 30 year baseline, which is more than 80% higher than the second warmest June months, which occurred in 2016, 2019, and 2022. It appears that this very sharp increase in global average surface temperatures is being driven to a large extent by some significant changes in the Southern Hemisphere. This figure from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer shows daily near surface temperatures measured by satellite instruments over the past 43 years. If we focus our attention on the data between June 1st and July 1st, and we look at the dark black line, which shows daily temperatures during 2023, and compare it to the orange line, which shows the daily temperatures during 2022, it's clear that the Earth has been experiencing significantly warmer temperatures now than in the past. But if we now focus on just the Northern Hemisphere, we see that the temperature anomaly is present, but it's not very pronounced. So let's now take a look at Southern Hemisphere near surface temperatures. Focusing our attention on the Southern Hemisphere, we see that the temperature anomaly between June 1st and July 1st is much more pronounced. We also can see that the anomaly is continuing during the month of July. And as you probably have heard recently, there have been several days during this July with record-breaking world temperatures. And again, it appears that much of this is due to what's happening in the Southern Hemisphere. One factor that may be contributing to this rapid surface warming in the Southern Hemisphere is the recent large-scale loss of sea ice in the Southern Ocean. This is causing the Southern Ocean to absorb more of the incoming sunlight, which is leading to more rapid warming in the Antarctic region. Since the oceans of the world form what is essentially a large conveyor belt, warming in the Antarctic region contributes to warming further north by means of the ocean currents. While we don't know yet for certain all the reasons why we are seeing such record-breaking temperatures this year, it appears that the oceans are playing a major role. As this chart of world sea surface temperatures shows, beginning in March of this year, the average ocean temperature has been significantly higher than in the recent past. Clearly, we are in uncharted territory as far as global average temperatures are concerned. I hope that you have found this short video informative. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section of the video and I will do my best to answer them. Please also take some time to view some of my other climate related videos. And if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.